I'm in a little bit of a Sims 4 could never mood today. You guys, so the best thing about The Sims Medieval is like, there's all these different like missions, but they're like, they're like open. This is what I love about The Sims Medieval. You have all of these different, they call them ambitions. They're like quests that you can unlock. First, we have to do the new beginnings one. Now, if you own The Sims Medieval, by the way, and it cannot start on your computer, not just The Sims Medieval, but also The Sims 3, there is a special trick that you can use because as we know, EA likes to make games, but they don't like to make games that work. On Mod The Sims, there's something called Intel Elder Lake Patch. If you download this, follow the instructions and it allows you to make The Sims 3 and The Sims Medieval work if you use a newer PC because they don't often work on older PCs because they don't often work on newer PCs for some reason. Our kingdom is called Fannyland and that's because Fannyland is being ruled by Fanny Mae. And the thing I love honestly about The Sims Medieval, this is, I've said for so long in The Sims for I really want like a scenario mode or a challenge mode and that's basically it. You can either get a bronze, silver, gold or platinum medal depending on how many buildings you place in a kingdom. So we basically have to set it all up. And in order to build these, you need resource points. But we unlock those as we go along. The first thing we have to do is create a monarch. We are making Fanny Maylie Jones. You guys need to know if you haven't seen my like old Sims games let's plays before, I don't play Shanice in the Sims 1, 2, 3 era because they're in a different timeline to the Sims 4. The Sims 4 doesn't follow the official timeline. So when it comes to the official timeline, we play with Fannie Mae. Honestly, I genuinely believe that Sims Medieval Sims are the best looking Sims. I truly believe this. You can fight me for it. I don't care. This is what I truly believe. Even like, I just feel like even like the fat slider, for example, is like so much more realistic. Look at that. We can even give her medieval Botox. Oh my God. No, guys, look at, look at um, Fannie Mae. <laughs> look at her face. Oh my God. We could give her a bowl cut. This is so cute. We can also choose three traits and we have to choose two of them to be good ones and one of them is a fatal flaw and I like that it forces you to choose one bad one. We're going to make her very very vain, greedy, something called hubris which means they're so full of themselves. That sounds like Fannie Mae. Because I got the Pirates and Nobles pack we've got all this brand new stuff guys I'm so excited. Look how cute she looks oh my god. And look just in this first scenario out of many we have all these different quests that we can do. This game is literally huge guys. Though our throne room is not very sexy. We've only got 1,000 simoleons. I think when we earn more, we're going to make it look a bit more pretty. Like, look at our cute little kingdom. I mean, we've got nothing right now. All we've got is a little castle and a boat. But it's a good start. And, uh, oh, excuse me, sir. Why are you getting naked in front of me? I mean, sir, you're very, very handsome. We're supposed to uh, discuss the castle with him. <laughs> While he's naked in the bath. Sir, get out of there, please. So he's very handsome. I wish he would take his clothes off again. I think we might have to woohoo with him at some point. Although I don't know what all these romantic interactions are because it's all like medieval English. So we're just gonna have to click them and, and guess what we're actually doing with this man. Oh look, we're having a sexy hug. No guys, I wanna woohoo this man because he's really sexy, Mr. Built Marshall Walker. So I imagine woohooing in the medieval times was a little bit gross and dirty. <laughs> I wouldn't have liked to have done it personally. Apparently guys, do you know, apparently STIs didn't exist in the medieval times. Apparently it's just like a modern thing that we've got. They didn't have that problem. Although being gay probably would have been a bit horrendous. Like, I don't mean to be too crude, but you know, like if you're bottoming and like you can't really, like the medieval gays, they couldn't have douched. Do you know what I mean? Like there was no douching back then. So like they would have had to have done it dirty. <laughs> That's pretty gross. I wouldn't have liked to have been a medieval gay, not at all. Anyway, Fanny Mae, I hope you had a good time. And uh, oh, I accidentally clicked woohoo again. Looks like they're woohooing again. Right, Fanny Mae, we've got to get dressed, please. Come on, you need to go to the farm forest apparently. Oh and look at that even the Sims Medieval had an open world. Although we have to pick some flowers which I think is a little bit above Queen Fanny Maylie Jones. She is the Queen of Fannyland. She should not be picking up wildflowers herself. A bandit dares to threaten the Queen. The forest bandit. She wants a duel with Fanny Mae. Fanny Mae sharpen your sword. Get ready to go. We're in our knight's outfit. Right you. You're getting absolutely slaughtered. Um Sim can't. Oh my god it says Sim can't fight Ralph's pregnant. No guys we got Fanny Mae pregnant. <laughs> no, guys, she, I think we've broken the tutorial because she's pregnant and we can't fight Ralph's pregnant. Oh my, no, guys, I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> 
Oh no, look, she's looking at her belly. Oh, for Christ's sake, Lady Fanny Mae. Sir, this is all your fault. I feel like, like we shouldn't be having a baby out of wedlock. Ask for hand in marriage. I feel like we need to be doing this. Will he accept? I think he's accepted. He's got the ring on his hand. That's rather lovely. We're now betrothed. They can get married in a church. I don't think, no guys, we don't even have a church. <laughs> we can't get married yet because we don't have a church. And it seems we can only have gruel or seed porridge as our lunch or our dinner. Do you know, in The Sims Medieval, there's only two needs, hunger and energy. I actually think that's really nice because you can just focus on playing it properly. Well, at least we've learned in The Sims Medieval, of course, they didn't have condoms back then. So there's no such thing as a safe woo-hoo. Oh, the baby is coming. Let's go upstairs. Oh my God, that was so quick. This baby is coming less than 24 hours. <laughs> Congratulations, we got a baby girl. Oh my God, this is amazing. Our baby daughter is called Angel Louise. Oh my God, hello there, Angel Louise. Oh my God, you look so uncanny valley. Um, Fanny Mae, put your daughter down, please. I'm taking a screenshot. Please put your daughter down, thank you. No, guys, look how creepy it looks. <laughs> I feel like maybe babies were tied to the crib in The Sims Medieval, though it was a spin-off title, so I think I'll let it pass. I can't believe we had a fucking baby. <laughs> well, at least now we're not pregnant anymore. We can get on with our quests. Although nobody's really looking after the child, so I'm not sure how long it's gonna survive for, though they didn't really have social services back then. Oh well, as long as we're having a nice little fight, Fanny Maylee Jones is letting go of her pregnancy rage. And she won, of course she did, because she's very scatty. She now wants to collect some wood in the forest. Not sure why she's collecting wood, unless, unless she's collecting wood. I don't know if cruising existed in the medieval times, but it may have, it may have existed. She may be lit quite literally collecting wood in the woods. Who knows? I'm not judging Fanny Mae Lee Jones. She also needs some stone, which she can mine in a cave by the graveyard. Why is she doing all this herself? Her servants need to be doing it, although we haven't really established a strong kingdom yet. Maybe that's why. But this grave digger, Kimberly, wants to discuss digging graves, apparently. It seems like we've got some dead sims on the floor. That's not very nice. I was just wondering if you would consider building a church here in the kingdom. I mean, maybe we could build the church first, even if we're given different options because it would be nice to get married. Okay, we've got some text boxes that I can't be bothered to read, but we're opening something. What have we, oh, we've got 125 simoleons. Guys need to know I don't like reading in video games. I can't be bothered. So apparently there is a bully somewhere in the town square. This is the bully, town bully Erica. Town bully Erica, we're gonna send you to the stocks because you're such a bully. And um, oh my God, look, this knight is literally taking her, Constable Greg. Oh my God, their names are so funny. <laughs> Constable Greg, look at Constable Greg. Oh my God. Constable Greg is taking Town Bully Erica to the, to the stocks. Oh my God, no guys. Look at Town Bully Erica. Oh my God. <laughs> we can throw some tomatoes at her. She deserves it. Oh my God, the Sims fork it literally never. This is so much fun. Oh my gosh. It's also very sadistic. She now wants to return to the throne room. I guess we're just gonna have to leave you there, madam. You can chill out by the stocks for eternity. This game is so random. There's a bard and Fanny Mae fancies him even though she's betrothed. We have to give him a flower although our friendship level's not high enough. So we'll have a little chat. I kind of wish we woohooed with him. I feel like he would have given us a more pretty baby. Although, look, oh my God, look, he's doing a little song and we're dancing to the song together. Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh my God, look at everybody dancing. The little bard's music. Isn't this so adorable? Oh my God, I love The Sims Medieval so much. This is so cute. Oh my God, my husband is giving me the ick with his weird dancing. Right, I've been neglecting Fanny Mae's needs. So we need to sleep after all of that. And oh, I forgot about that. No guys, I forgot we had a baby. <laughs> I just forgot. Oh, Angel Louise is about to grow up. It's a little bit too soon. You're growing up too fast. You've been a baby for a day. I just want I just want you to stay in the crib and just leave me alone because I can't deal with you right now. And um, oh look, oh look, you've grown up. Princess Angel Louise. Oh my god, Angel Louise, where did you go? I've lost you. Where did you go? Oh, here she is having a little chat with her father. Oh look, we can send it shopping as well. We can use it as a little slave. That's rather useful. So apparently at certain times each day your sim will receive up to two responsibilities. We need to write a treaty of ongoing peace and two new laws. So that's quite cool. It's kind of like a little job. Although we don't seem to be collecting any taxes from our citizens and it has me a little bit worried. And you know what's great? To send letters, you have to use this little pigeon post as well. If you want to send any letters that you've wrote,
which I think is so cute. Our brand new advisor has told us our throne room is not pretty enough, so we need to change it up apparently. I feel like we need to make it a little bit more pink for Fannie Mae. I just feel like it would suit her a bit more. That is so much more adorable. I don't really know like what they want us to build. Okay, I'm gonna just pop a couple stone vases down just so we can complete it because I don't want to waste too much money. And do you know what's also really cool, guys? You can actually look at neighboring kingdoms and you can like either fight with them or you can make peace with them. I think it's really cute. So we're now finally able to build something is we've got enough resource points. Do we have enough for a cute little church though? Either we can either have a cathedral or a monastery. Call me dumb. I actually don't know the difference. According to Google, you can do it in either. I feel like a cathedral is a bit more fancy, but I feel like a monastery is more realistic because we're still quite a small kingdom. Oh my God, now we need a priest. Oh my God, guys, this is so exciting. <laughs> the Sims medieval is so cute. I can't cope. And this is how a priest, his name is Archibald Onion. Oh guys, look at our little monastery. Oh my God, this is so cute. I love it. But we can't get married at the monastery yet because we don't have faith. This is all a bit of a palaver if you ask me. We have to ask to join the Petteran faith. As if the Sims medieval had religion. Oh my God, now we can have a marriage at the monastery. So let's get going. We're getting married. This is so exciting. Look at all these guests turn up. I wonder if marriage in the Sims medieval is just as tragic as it is in the Sims 4 and in the Sims 3 and in The Sims 2. It seems like it is nobody's at their seats, nobody's paying attention, this is a little bit dramatic. Archibald Onion is nowhere to be seen. This is all a bit too much. I think my child is having a fight with another Sims child. Princess Angel Louise is very violent, just like her mother. And um, there we go, we just got married. Oh, the, look at, the, he's, he's, oh my God, he's flying away. <laughs> No guys, he's flying away. What just happened there? So guys, we're on a quest searching for a crab bandit in a cave. I'm gonna be brutally honest, I haven't been reading the storyline, so I don't know why we're doing it. And I don't know who the crab bandit is. All I know is there's this crazy man called Crazy Old Cadfield, and he's standing outside of the cave getting very, very crazy. Oh, this is, this is apparently the crab bandit. Hello, sir, you're rather sexy. Apparently we have to seek counsel with him, give him three tokens of gratitude. So he joins our forces in Fanny Land. And now we've got three special quests. The crab bandit clearly gestured to his clothing. What action should Fanny May take? Give him a new pair of clothes or buy something new. We're just giving him a new pair of clothes. I hope that's okay. This has given us three mini quests. Apparently our tailor's making some clothes. Thank you very much, sir, for my clothes. I love how they all like bend down to me. That sounds a bit sexual. I didn't mean it in that way. I mean like they bow. Do you know what I mean? They bow when they see me. It's quite cute. He seemed pained when he touched his moustache. We can either give him moustache wax or he could want a moustache sacrifice to appease him and his children. I think we're going to give him a wax. Fanny Mae's going to give him a proper makeover. Apparently we've got to make the wax ourselves in the cooking pot. Gosh, what a palaver. What do we need? We need an eel leech and a bottle of ink. So let's get shopping. My favourite thing. Though I feel like I shouldn't be doing this really as queen. It's not really my job. Oh look, Lisa, the servant. Look, we finally have a servant. She can do all of our cooking for us again in the future now. I didn't realise we had her. Anyway, we've got the moustache wax now. One final one. The crab bandit made some motion towards smaller crabs. What action will we take? Could that mean his little crabs are hungry? We can bring him some food, I guess. Or maybe he wants me to have one of his crabs as my ward. We're going to take the crabs because that sounds like fun. We can eat them maybe. We have to ask a child to be the ward. Oh my god, so we have to ask a child to look after the crabs. Of course, we are asking Princess Angel Louise. This is so like randomly specific. <laughs> Where are you, Angel Louise? You're in the monastery. How lovely, our little child. Who on earth are these people fighting? I'm, I'm trying to make my child a, a crab bearer. Um, excuse me, child, what are you doing? What are you doing, child? <laughs> What's going on here? And funnily enough, we have to actually send our child into the cave alone. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. Hopefully our child's still alive. So we've got to do all these things now back in the cave. And now once we've completed all of our little quests lines. Oh, look, guys, we're monarch level three. That's good. We've unlocked a special combat move and fighting proficiency increased. I love the EXP. So there's an alliance between Fanny Land and the underground Crab Kingdom. Absolutely wonderful. And apparently now the game wants us to wear the crab moustache. If that's what you want to do, Fanny Mae, you can wear a little crab moustache, can't you? How do you like that? Oh my God, you look so cute. And we've done our little crab bandit quest. That is lovely. Got more roll points so we can unlock more buildings. Oh my gosh. We've got like all these other quests quests to do as well and as well as these quests there's also the different ambitions which is like even more stuff and we unlock them as we go along guys there's so much I can't deal with it this is gonna be a multi-part series yes it is I'm gonna
gonna make a playlist and link to the next video here when it's ready. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.